What is good, y'all? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your boy Deluxe. And on this video, uh, what I'm going to be going over today is really the two things. There's two sides of this story, by the way. Um, really, the one mistake that all barbers eventually will make. Um, and like I said, there's two sides to this story and really two um, opposites of what this occurs. But they all stem from the same problem. All right, so I'll go ahead and give you a breakdown of what that problem is. Uh, what it looks like for both sides playing out further a visual representation of this and really how the fuck can you do what or what you can you do to avoid this um coming on to your barbering career because really um i've done this myself i'm <laughs> i was not um even though i was aware of this i still allowed it to happen to me in my career um and i see a lot of barbers falling in the, into this pit of inevitability but it's really how you attack it and if you're aware of it afterwards of the individual variables to really get yourself and call yourself back out to start seeing momentum and forward progress on your career so basically what is the one mistake that gets all barbers um into kind of like this pitfall well it's really a lack of focus and really dissipating that focus into many different areas so instead of having um let's say one area of focus they dissipate it into multiple different things. And this can play out in a, a lot of different ways. Um, I'll go through those different ways a little bit later on. But basically, the two sides of this story uh, is, you know, first of all, the barber who actually stayed focused on one thing and got success um, and then feels like a very surge of confidence to like they can conquer anything in the world. And so they go ahead and take on multiple things at once, um, thinking that because they have figured out some sort of secret, that they will then go ahead and create that same amount of success in every one of those different things that they take on, let's say like four or five different different um, projects, um, but then are met with like they don't make progress on it, right? And it's not because they're not capable of it, but it's because of they forgot the principle that got them there, which is keeping well, the one thing, the one thing, and continually seeing progress of just so focused on that one thing instead of adding like six different things onto that. Uh, and like I said, we're getting a visual representation of this further because it'll make more sense. Um, the other type of barber, however, is somebody who is not currently aware that they have like a million things going on at once, but are basically stagnant, stagnant in their career, right? So they um, don't see any progress. They haven't seen progress in a while. They keep on doing the same thing over and over and over again. And what they think is doing the same thing as everybody else, but they're not seeing any progress. So what they think to do is, well, hey, look, since I'm, this is like maybe what I've maxed out on for myself, maybe I need to add in like another stream of income, which ultimately like what they don't realize is that they already have a million other things that are going on. They're putting their energy towards. Um, and what they're actually doing is just adding more onto their plate instead of, cutting stuff out and focusing on one thing. So a visual representation of this, we've all seen this type of graph before, right? Bring up this hefty whiteboard. Um, and basically this is, oh, come on now. There we go. This is what it looks like, as you can see from my very talently um, written out um, whiteboard. So this is what people think as focus, right? Whereas we do a bunch of different things at an average level. Um, and we don't really get too far in any which direction It kind of just, you know, we might get far right here. We get short right here, average level right here, maybe a little bit shorter right here. So it's very different, uh, different angles or different, um, outputs of focus that we get. Whereas you look right here on this one, when we're focused on just simply one thing, the motherfucker goes off the board, at least for right now, as you can see, it kind of doesn't go off the board, but as you, but that's typically the representation of this is what happens when you actually start seeing some type of forward progress is when you just focus on one thing rather than focus on a couple of different things in many different directions and expect to get this result, but you're only going to get this, right? And what I've noticed for myself, because I've done this myself too, like, like I said before, I was not subject, even though I, I was aware of this principle. Um, what happened, for, let me go ahead and get this back on. They're correct. Otherwise, I look really orange. What happened for me in, in this sense really was more or less just, you know, when you take on a lot of things on a project. So I was the one that had a lot of success. Cool. I feel like God. I feel like I can do anything in the world. And you and feeling like I can go ahead and whatever I put my mind to, really, I can go ahead and achieve that. Um, we're just, I guess we're just going to have to stay with this type of, um, maybe if I scoot back. Basically, um, what had happened was, when I put on all those different things onto my plate, when I added more things on, thinking I would get the same results, um, I actually started doing this thing of um, getting up to a passable level. Let's say I had like five, let's say I had five things on my plate, right? And I want to do all, I want to work on each task 
um, every single day, at least a little bit every single day. So instead of um, you know, having only one thing to focus on, uh, what I would do is like, okay, from 10 a.m. to noon, I'm gonna focus on this one. And then from noon to two, I'm gonna do this one, then uh, two to four, this one, and so on and so forth. But what actually happens is I only do this, the first thing, to a passable level where I'm like, cool, I think this is good enough to where I can move on to the next thing. And guess what happens the next thing? I can work out for another two hours or so, or maybe I do, I do a little bit more than that, and I only work up to a level of, cool, that's good enough, that's a base level of like what I think is acceptable, let me move on to the next thing, right? So, and this happens repeatedly throughout the whole entire day, and what people think is, cool, I just did a shit ton of work throughout the day, I'm productive, I'm successful. But what they don't realize is that they literally, literally only gotten this type of output, instead of doing just focusing on one thing and getting this type of output. And what happens when you focus on one thing is that you're literally forced to, when you only have one thing to focus on, you're literally forced to just sit there and focus on one thing. And even when it's at its passable level, well, you have nothing else to move on to. So you continue to work and continuously try to progress it further and further. So you actually get further. So instead of only putting two in hour, two hours of work in and getting to that same level, let's say these are both things, you get two hours of work, bam, two hours is hit. Then right here, you got the next task you gotta go on to where you start back down here. Whereas right here, hey, I don't have anything else to focus on. So I'm gonna just keep on going, 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 going for the rest of the freaking day until like the day's over with. And then by the end of the day, I'm right here with the thing before. Everything else is right here when I have five things to master. And so this is my starting point for the next day, right? So the next day happens, let me scoot down a little bit so you can see. Next day happens, I probably should have done this on the whiteboard. That's why I have a whiteboard anyways. When the next day happens, guess what? Two hours of work happens, boom, 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 boom. Cool, two hours of work have been reached. Okay, cool. This is like, I'm getting progress on this. I feel good, right? All right, I can hop on the next thing that then goes back down here. And then we go ahead and go through the rest of the day and this continues to happen. And this thing just continues to go up, 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 up. So when you see level of mastery come from just the focus of one thing, it makes it very evident of like, okay, I see why, um, why you need to keep the one thing, the one thing, but what happens when I'm not aware, right? And, and, and really, if you, the really simple thing to, to kind of go ahead and assess this on is really to kind of track of like what your work output is every single day right? What are you working on? Like when you're actively working on something, what are those actions and what is the, what is the tax that you are trying to be completing, right? Some people will go from like social media to then mastering haircuts, to then sheer work, to then trying to figure out their money and finances. Um, you know, whether, rather than just, Hey, look to th this, this whole month until I master my finances, I'm only focusing on that one thing, right? Or until I master the sheer work, I'm only focusing on one, one thing or until I master social media, I only master one thing. And for me, this can even go into a lot deeper parts and we're gonna get into that a little bit later. I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. Um, but basically what is created, I mean, you see, you see it from right here. If, if the amount of work was a visual representation of like, of like subpar or, or like uh, executed at a mastery level, this is subpar for sure, right? And, and over here, when you focus on one thing, this is more of mastery. This is more of you are the fucking go-to person in your, their, your area of field. Let me go ahead. Because really, that thing has infinite amount of potential when you go ahead and focus on that, right? It goes, now it goes like off the board, even though it's kind of like a little squiggly right there, right? But really, you, you, you just, you, you, you create subpar work right here on this side of things. And when you actually see these two things matched up uh, side by side, and you get a visual representation of it, also think about it like this, right? I have a great representation of this actual picture too, right? So think about like a lamp. It's a regular lamp. Maybe even like these lights that you see in my reflection, right? These, even those are bright LED lights. At some point in time, let's say if I have a wall that's like a um, hundred yards away, this light is not gonna, going to shine as bright and light up that wall like it is how I'm standing maybe or sitting and maybe like three feet from it, right? But if I take a laser pointer, a very detailed locked in laser pointer like this thing, it's probably gonna show up on 100 yards away. It's gonna, probably gonna show up a lot longer than that, a lot of kilometers uh, or miles away, whatever you know your, your way of tracking uh, stuff is. But this is, this is always the most efficient way to move. 
It's effective in the, in the lamp versus laser pointer. It's effective in, well, you kind of see me sweating a little bit. Even sweat, right? <laughs> um, but what happens really, like from what I've learned from this is, or, or how, why this happens is, you know, the first thing when you actually do get momentum and then you want to add more things on, it's just simply a, a, a byproduct of, of overconfidence, of thinking that you are an exception to the rule. Right. And really, nobody's an exception to any type of principle out there. You're not, especially this one. This one is probably like the one I've lived and died by uh, for at least when I've been cutting hair, as well as with my business. Um, and I always like seeing what, okay, when I gain confidence in myself, and I know I'm more of the person who gets overconfident, when I gain confidence in myself in some area, um, I feel like, oh, I can do anything. Let's go. And so I start adding on new stuff. Right. And that actually will go ahead and drag my business down, actually make me go reverse wise of progress, right? I might see like a small uptick, but I'm actually slowing myself down over time. Think about it like this. Think about like the company that is like, um, I'm trying to think of an example. I can't think of an example off the top of my head. All right, bear with me. But think about like maybe a company before, uh, like maybe pre um, internet era, right? Before pre-internet era, you couldn't have automated uh, systems of done by AI and stuff like that, automated systems like that. You had to go ahead and have actually people running the business. So maybe to have like, let's say to have a company do, I don't know, maybe $10 million, right? You would have to have a pretty big company. You would have to have a lot of people working on your staff. Um, but in today's world, really there's companies that make 10 million, 20 million, maybe even 30 million per year that maybe max out at like 15 to 25 people on their staff because of what these things, computers, can go ahead and automize for you and really um, have allowed the individual to focus on one thing and let the automation do everything else for it so that the human can go ahead and just say, okay, cool, I got all this on automation, I can focus on my one task. Um, even big CEOs think like this too. Um, you ask Bezos what he, you know, Bezos, he runs Amazon, right? But the dude literally he has said multiple, multiple times, he just tries to make three decisions, three highly educated decisions per day and calls that a win. Now, Amazon is like the biggest company on the internet. And I don't know how many transactions they do per day, but I'm pretty sure that you have to be making more than three decisions per day for the whole company to run. But because he understands of how um, important his role is and his responsibility to his company, he needs to go ahead and build out systems and people to go ahead and take on that responsibility for all the other decisions so he can focus on the main thing, right? He, he, he can focus, he can actually focus instead of being on this side. Right, so you see it kind of in business and this principle playing out in a lot of different uh, places. Now, what the other side of this is, right, for the person who um, kind of takes on everything and doesn't know that they have to everything taken on, this this is created just by a lack of awareness, right? A lack of awareness of really what you actually are having on your plate or what a daily actions and really just um, a lack of awareness of your outputs. You know, what are you actually working on? And is that going to produce an ROI positive um, uh, event in your business or an ROI positive action in your business, right? Um, really, like they, 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 they don't understand the chaos they live in, 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 their, in their business or in their barbering business, right? Um, and they don't realize the mess that they've created. And nothing they try to add on or like really like try to create will become anything because what they really have to do is cut shit out. They have to focus on, all right, look, is this thing really that important to keep on in my business? Because it's literally the thing that's dragging me down. It's almost like, Hey, look, <laughs> it doesn't matter if your business um, is making, and I have this pr problem with barbers all the time that I, I mentor one-on-one, -on -one, right? Um, is finances. Um, you know, it doesn't matter if you're making, whether it be 5k or 10k, um, if you're having $5,000 in expenses well, or $10,000 in expenses, um, correlated each to every single month. So at that point in time, um, you know, it's not about making more money. It's about, Hey, how do I keep the money I'm actually making? And that re uh, requires you to, to cut out certain expenses, right? Um, so the same thing can be seen in finance, the same thing can be seen in business, same thing can be seen in, in whatever you need, like family time. Um, 
and really like what areas of barbering this does affect um haircuts right so like one thing could be let me give a visual representation again one thing could be try to master every haircut because they think that that's what's going to actually get them paid versus versus hey i'm only going to focus on one aesthetic i'm only going to focus on one haircut one look um one overall fade one uh thing in that fade that's going to make my business go forward and make people actually come back to me right um another thing could be social media right Person over here wants to try YouTube, Snapchat, TikTok, Twitter, whatever it may be, adding else onto that, Facebook, um, whatever else you think you can think of. Right here, this person's only worried about Instagram. Focus on one thing. They're not trying to master different platforms. Um, business as well, right? Um, <laughs> person right here is like different areas of business of, of client satisfaction, of raising prices, of pricing themselves and making sure that no shows like th they're all over the place in their business and what they think will boost their business where this person hey i'm only focused on raising prices it's the only thing i'm worried about um content even right so now okay let's hopefully this person actually figured out what the one thing is they're going to focus on with social media and platforms now the next thing is hey your actual content this could be i'm shooting <laughs> i'm shooting in a barrel or i'm shooting randomly from the hip because i don't know what's going to hit this person they know exactly what the fuck's gonna hit. And they know exactly the content, like I was talking about in the video before, that's gonna push their business forward, and they just continue posting that every single day. Because they know that this is going to bring them back a $100 worth client. Where this person can't understand or seem to put their mind grasping around the fact of how a barber in, um, let's say, Maryland or whatever, gets to be able to charge $100. Where right here, it's very, very clear why they are going to charge $100 as well as the clients that they will be serving at that price point. Um, and then overall career, <laughs> right? This is actually like all this, like all of these like smaller components actually go ahead, ahead and build out to the bigger component of, hey, this is your overall career. Some people, they're all over the place. And the other person, they know exactly where they want to go. They know exactly what end goal they want to go to, and they know what to do and what not to do. So, a visual, another uh, great, um, basically what is the solution for this, right? That's what I'm trying to say. What is the solution for this? Well, um, like I said before, this person, they have an end goal. This person right here, they're just trying to see whatever like looks good or seems good to them at the time. And maybe they'll see a little bit of progress, but they don't have an overall end goal. This person, their end goal might be to be financially free. So they're able to go ahead and knock it all the way down to the one thing that gets them forward, push forward progress on financially free, where this person, uh, I don't know. I just like cutting hair. It's a big cool thing to do. It makes me money. And they don't really know what direction they want to go in. Um, and this is where a lot of people... Um, a lot of barbers, at least when I talk to a lot of individuals, um, you know, this is where they're at typically because yeah, look, they don't, not everybody's supposed to know what they're, what they want to do with their life, but it takes just making a decision on one of these things. Let's say, okay, I don't want to do all this, but I'm going to go ahead out of all these. I'm just going to try this direction first because I might as well go ahead and pick one of these random things and go in that direction and see where that gets me. Because I know doing all that other thing, all that other stuff of here, 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 isn't getting me anywhere close to what I want to of what this person is doing right here. So you must understand the overall goal of where you want to go. So for this person, they already know exactly where they want to go. This person, they have no clue. Cool, we'll go ahead and identify That's their goal, right? Right here. So they know they want to get to here. Now, which one of these, just even looking at this, the next problem that they have to go ahead and figure out is what is gonna be the closest way or fastest way to get to this goal? Well, it's probably not gonna be anywhere of these. So we can go ahead and cross these out right down here, right? Fill that in a little bit. So then it's like, okay, cool. Which out of these get me closer and which am I already closest to? Well, by this diagram, I'm right here. Of course, this will make the most sense to go ahead and go in this direction. And now I'm closer. I'm not on path exactly, but I'm pretty close to going on path straight away to this. So then it's really just cutting out all of the, 
what did I say? Identify the one thing that will produce the most ROI uh, for getting to that goal. So basically your return on investment and return on investment is always on your time and action that you take, right? So what is out of those, we identified this one thing as the best, best return on your investment of, hey, if I spent all my time on this one thing, because this one, well, I know will only continue to keep going here. It's not going to get me to my goal. So you understand like now how important it is to have this overall goal. And it's not like you have to understand exactly like where you want to go. It could be as simply, like I said before, hey, I want to be financially free. Great. That provides you with the direction of which way you want to go. Because you know you don't want to be traveling the world. You know you don't want to be, I don't know, like getting laid every weekend. I mean, everybody wants to get laid, but I'm not, like that's not your overall goal. Your goal is not to get laid every weekend and get drunk um, and go out and party. Your goal is financial freedom. So, you know, if you continue to get laid and go out every single weekend, and it's kind of funny because that's on a downward trend, right? A downward angle, which I didn't mean to make, but that will not get you to your goal of being financially free. And sometimes these visual representations have a lot. So then after you cut out everything that doesn't pertain to your goal and pick the one thing that gets you closer to your goal, then you have to list out the areas of what this one thing is going to take for you to achieve um, to get here quicker, right? Because we don't want to take a hundred years to get here. If we could do some similar goal, that'll take us two years to get here. Right. Um, so like, let's say for example, um, uh, let me see where is, I don't want to drop my pen on my thing. So let's say the fastest way to get to financial freedom, um, Oh, I have an example coming up. Don't worry. We'll get here. We'll get there eventually. Um, and then you have to understand like the time frame, right? So like, what is the time frame? The quickest time frame that will get me from here to here? Again, pl put that into play. Um, and then work on that for a period of time, whether this be a measurable goal or whether this be a specific amount of time to go from here to here or from here to, to whatever it may be and see how long that will take you. And then once that goal is accomplished or the time frame is complete, Simply repeat this exercise over and over again, uh, and then identify the one thing that will get you to this goal. So let's say, um, for an example, again, your goal is financial freedom, all right? So you want to go ahead and list things that are needed to get there as a barber. So like, let's say um, you have create a sustainable business in the industry solving a major problem. You have real estate. You have charging $100 per haircut. And then you have education. Um, and then maybe we have a couple of just other random things, right? So again, what is the one thing that will get us here quicker? Well, we could do real estate. This is probably important. <laughs> probably should put real estate maybe like right there, right? We could do real estate because that's in the direction of financial freedom. But we're farther ahead in our barbering career because this would have to allow us to start over and take a lot of time to go ahead and develop, um, which a lot of people don't have. So I think the, the closest thing, the best representation of this would be to, hey, let me go ahead and charge $100 because at that price point, then I'm making more money. I'll be in a different position than what I am right now. And if I want to continue doing real estate, hey, then I can go ahead and still be cutting hair, getting my goal of financial freedom, but also I can go ahead and dedicate the actual time I need to to real estate. So we'll go, oh no, I just crushed us right there. This is a visual representation of us, which has been terribly, terribly um, <laughs> mutated. Um, so then, okay, cool. We have charging $100 is our one main thing, our barbering career to push that to charge $100 is our one thing that we want to focus on. So cool, what is it gonna take to get us there? Well. Um, it's going to take demand, having demand for our services, clients, better skills, possibly maybe cut in a better environment or move to a bigger city and re reality out of those things that will give us the be best ROI on this one thing, which means what is the, the, the one thing that if we focus on that, that will actually give us, get us closer to charging a hundred dollars, which is our goal right now, because our goal is financial freedom, which, uh, it will in turn help us achieve. Um, it would have to be client demand. Right. And then going down the, the chain again, uh, we get to, OK, well, what creates client demand? Well, um, we could be um, referrals. We could be handing out business cards, social media, um, as well as like doing like discount deals. Uh, and, and really, it, it becomes obvious. OK, cool. The best ROI thing that I could do that helps me out, especially over time to build a business that will forever be feeding into it is going to be social media. So let me go ahead and go in that direction as well, too. And then a measurable for that would be, hey, look, I'm about like 35, 45% booked up in my schedule. Well, look, once I get 75% booked up in my schedule, um, 
I can go in the, at, at the current price point that I'm charging right now. I then can go ahead and raise my prices, right? Or that's, that's, that is like the next measurable thing. So now you have a measurable goal of, hey, look, once I get 75% booked out of doing social media and just focusing on that each and every single day to where I can go ahead and get closer to charging $100, which gets me effectively closer to my overall goal of financial freedom. Now you can see where things start to come in place when you start focusing on one thing. Right. And once that goal is met um, and I filled up my slots through social media and are capable of raising prices to repeat the, and iterate this process until I'm charging $100. Now, of course, it's not going to go as smoothly as that. Like there's a lot of other proponents uh, that go into that. But in a nutshell, that is basically the thought process that um, especially barbers need to go ahead and take instead of wishing and hoping on a star that they go ahead and hit their goal. Um, actually taking an understanding of, hey, look, if I just map out my overall goal, um, I can then cut out the, the activities I'm doing each and every single day and say, hey, does this actually serve that goal or does this take me away from that goal? As well as what is that next like smaller thing I need to be working on and focusing on that will get me to that goal as well too. Um, and when I work with barbers, I mean, this is like probably one of the more effective things that we do. Uh, of course, like when we first start out, um, I always like kind of like to get a bigger picture of what uh, an individual like likes to do. So I do I do a form of this actually for my clients um, that I work with. It's basically, hey, look, where's your overall goal? Where do you want to go? Cool. And then we start building out exactly where they need to do those actionable items step by step. And then we go ahead and hey, every single week we go ahead and set measurables that we have to go ahead and accomplish as well as making sure they stay on path of the one thing um, and actually get them fucking results in eight weeks, which is incredible. Um, you've seen this with South Bay Chris um, and all these guys have different actual like end goals, right? So like when David Escamilla came to me and started working with me, he was actually at a point where he was, had success. He had success because he was focusing on one thing, but he was all over the place with his focus and discipline. Now he was disciplined, but he was disciplined in like five to seven different things in his business. And so when he came to me, um, really it was just, all right, cool. What's the one thing that's going to get him moving forward? And it was really like, we, we identified the one thing we identified the goal of what he wants to get to in the industry as well as with his career. And we simply just said, all right, cool. This is what we're going to do. We're just going to take out all this stuff. I'm going to go ahead and coach you on exactly what it needs to take to go from this, to go from this, where you're at right here to this level to actually getting back on track and getting up to your goal. Right. I hope on here somewhere I didn't draw a penis because that would be terrible. <laughs> I just realized that with a whiteboard, people can go ahead and make fun of whatever I'm drawing. Um, but really with him, that, that's what it took. Now with South Bay Chris or somebody like Josias, um, it was more of a focus, focus and tension on just social media. And, and really, um, look, they knew what exactly what they kind of needed to do in a, in a sense because they naturally picked them on it very quickly. But they needed to be shown and needed to cut out all the other influences um, that they kind of thought or were not sure of. Um, as well as a lot of mindset and business. Now, a lot of barbers, they fall short in the business aspect of things. They don't understand exactly, hey, look, how do I raise my prices, right? When I talk to barbers in terms of how to raise prices, they're like, fuck, I don't want to do that. Um, and then after we go ahead and do it, we go through the process. We implement uh, different systems uh, to allow them to go ahead and continue to see growth, even at a price of $25 plus price increase. If they kind of start looking around like, holy fuck. Okay, game on now. Right. And that's why you're able to see a lot of barbers that go through my program actually see the results and, and continue success because it's not just, hey, we get you to a point and that's where you're going to stay at. It's, hey, we get you to a point to where now you can go ahead and every six months or so you can keep on growing and get to this goal. Right. We're only worried about the results with, the, with our students. Um, and that also focuses on my point of for me. Right. Instead of focusing on social media, focusing on brand, focusing on all this other different type of stuff, I just focus on one thing which was student results, right? And for me, um, that's why I went dark on social media. That's why I went dark on YouTube because look, that shit takes me a long time to produce. Now you see me with videos like this where, hey, look, maybe the content in here is a lot more informative. I was gonna say a lot more better, but that did not sound correctly if I was gonna say something in terms of information wise. Uh, it's a lot more informative than what it was before, right? I'm not over here. Somebody even asked me, yo, are you okay? Cause you're not laughing, you're not joking uh, around on your content like you used to, are you good? I'm like, yes, I am focused, right? <laughs> I'm not over here trying to look cool. I'm not over here trying to 
Um, optimize, I told people all the time, I used to optimize for women like a mother, motherfucker all the time, right? I'm not over here trying to optimize for brand. I'm not over here trying to optimize for all these other different nuances that don't matter. I'm only optimizing for value that gives st potentially new students the running start to when they do want to go ahead and work with me one-on-one, -on -one, we're way farther ahead than what we could and we're going to actually get them better results. So with that, remember, focus on one damn thing. <laughs> if you if you feel like you have not been seeing um, actual progress in your career, by all means, take a look at what you're what you're doing each and every single day, and see what you can cut out, and see what you can really just focus in and hone in on each and every single day. That will get you closer to your overall goal. If you don't have an overall goal, that's where you start right there. Is figure out what the overall goal you want to get to, and figure out what the actions you need to take each and every single day to get to that goal. So with that. That is this week's YouTube video. Um, like I said before, um, I will be coming out with content each and every single week, every Sunday. I will be dropping content like this. Um, so go ahead and, and if you felt like you brought some value or got some value from this video or you like uh, this video, go ahead and like and subscribe to this channel. Uh, and make sure you stay up to date each and every single week. Like I said, I will be dropping one video per week on this channel. As well as make sure you go ahead and stay up to date with the podcast. I also drop a lot of content like this. Now, hey, look, we don't get to go ahead and see crazy nice <laughs> visual representations, but the information there is very much similar and I tailor it to be able to where you can understand it without a visual representation. Um, and it's not like I copy and paste the content from my YouTube and then I just take the audio and put it on my podcast. No, I actually curate um, different content for my podcast. Um, and there's a lot more content like this because I've been on podcasting for a lot longer. So I highly um, invite you if you um, like content like this, if you think this is very informational in a very different angle than what most barbers are taking in the industry, um, my invitation is, hey, check out the podcast, subscribe, listen to an episode or two, um, because you will probably get, get a lot of game from that as well too. So with that, um, make sure you go ahead and like and subscribe like before, and I will see you guys next week on another video. Another video.